Okay, so one thing that I want to kind of slay for you guys right now, and one thing I want to talk about is the difference between common and normal. Okay, common and normal. So talking about a second ago, I said that your body was created for perfect and you're created for function. You know, it's not normal for you to have hormone imbalance and symptoms and things like that where the body's not working well. That's not normal, but it is common. But we live in a culture where we've made it normal. Like we've made it okay to sit around and talk about the different disease states that we're in and wear those like they're our jersey. We've made that normal and that was never creationally normal. Common because of our environment, because of our diet choices, because of our relationships and our stress, but not normal. You see the difference? So once we really start changing our uh, vocabulary about it and change our communication, we begin to see things for what they are and begin to see things for the problems that they are and knowing that we need to do something about it. And my other thing is telling you and teaching you that you can do something about it. You can help the body function the best it can and you can feed it well and support it with supplements and essential oils from your living uh, and help your body be the best it can possibly be. And, and you deserve that. Your kids deserve that. The rest of your family deserves you being the best you possible. And that's our goal. That's our whole vision. That's the goal and the vision of this entire summit. So hopefully it's pushing you back that direction. So remember, it's not normal for that stuff to come up, but it is very common. But change that vocabulary in your head. Now, first off, the thing I want to talk about is how hormones are actually produced in the body. You know, um, a lot of people, majority of people don't actually understand the pathway that goes on inside your system to produce all of your different hormones, okay? So let's go through, there's really just three steps. I was looking to make sure, yep, there's really just three steps to hormone production in the body total. Again, I told you I was a simple guy. I like things broken down. I'm real big into steps, three steps, five steps. If we can get into that, this guy can remember it, all right? So that's important for me. So step number one, 